talk to me about SPACs. So this is a, a new, we spoke in January. And Since in January, it was just a smart idea. Now? Now, it's a reality. Because you, you raised funds. raised the money. Yeah, how much? 600 million, even actually more than that, but we kept okay. the 600. We bought a little bank to get the license. Yeah. It was important to accelerate the whole process. We hired, let me say, a dream team. Okay. Uh, we started warming up on the market, yeah. so everything is there. On the 8th of August, we will have the uh, business combination shareholders meeting, and at that point, SPACs will be a very special, specialized bank in our country. Why, why did investors give you the money, right? What are they looking for? So you have a dream, you, you know what you want, but why, why did they tell you that they wanted to be part of this? Because they realized that uh, the industry is totally reshaping itself and the new winners in the banking industry will be specialized banks, new paradigm bank, bank capable to use new technologies but put together skills, experience, and be focused on specific segments. And we chose three of them, very large, very growing, very profitable, and underserviced. Sort of ideal situation. Right, but regulators have said in the past, right, that Italy, again, is too crowded to, for small lenders, right? So why is this different? Because this is specialized. It will service three segments, SMEs that are mid-quality, um, UTPs, always in SMEs' mm -hmm. word, and the NPL, corporate NPLs, Three segments right. that are very big and traditional banks, incumbents, tend to throw these activities outside. So there is a hole to be filled and this specialized bank will fill that hole. Okay, have you spoken to regulators? Are they For actually sure. quite, no, no. so they're we, quite no, no, happy no, 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 actually no. about the, the, the space that the you're filling? We have the process, filling. I mean we have gone through the stress test and uh, I think they, they were happy about the, the, the kind of resilience we we, we, we gave uh, uh, after the stress test, uh, given the solidity of our plan. So, no, no, we went through it. Okay. And, uh, when are you expecting? So, 8th of August, everything, the, the counting's done and everything. When's the first, like, actual Beginning step? of September. Okay. At that point, we will be fully operational. We launched the implementation of a totally new IT system that will make it uh, the, probably the first bank to be fully digital. Okay. That's easy to say, but not that easy to do because you have to build up a modular system. You have to be able to have no legacies around. You have to be state of the art in the front end, in the database uh, activities, but uh, it's there. So everything has already been planned. So by the end of next year, it will be fully digital. But immediately from September, we will be able to buy UTPs, mm -hmm. to buy NPLs, mm -hmm. and to start uh, the crossover activity with companies that uh, have potentials, but are not yet fully appreciated by uh, traditional banks. Okay, you're not up and running yet, so is it too soon to talk about acquisitions, or is it something that, you know, is your dream acquisitions further down the line? The only acquisition was the little bank, very nice bank, Interprovinciale, just to get the license. But from now on, it will be a startup from scratch. We want to be totally new, we don't want to have any legacy, okay. and so we don't need to make any other acquisition. Okay, so how big are you expecting to, to be in, in one, two, and five years? In 2020, we will be a 4 billion euros asset bank, and by the end of 2023, we will be a 7 billion euros asset bank. By that time, we will have a net profit in the round of 300 million, and uh, that comes from clear competitive advantages in these large uh, segments, because we will not be only no legacy, we will be fully digital, we will have clear cost advantages with the incumbents because uh, we will have cost income before below 30 percent. Our competitors are well beyond the 60. Vis-a-vis -vis the credit funds, we will have much lower cost of funds. Okay. So, Fully digital, is that, is that a concern just because Italy in the past has been a little bit behind, you know, the Germanys and, and uh, the Britons of this world? Yes and no. I mean, uh, uh, challengers banks in the in, in UK are very good not so many in, in Germany, but uh, you have a, lot, a number of fintechs, but not full-fledged banks. I mean, we will be fully digital, but it will also be a full bank with all the, credit, with all the uh, products, not only produced by ourselves, but channeled through uh, uh, leaders in the market. Um, we need to be fully digital in order to keep costs down, but technology is not enough. We will have some of the best people coming from industry. We will be a bank with uh, People, lend, lenders that will come from industry, CFOs, CEOs coming from uh, industries. So we will have both the experience of the banks 
and uh, uh, of the industry. All of this in Italy. Italy is not, it has not been, I guess, the, um, the, the most smooth uh, political transition. Do Never. you worry about the budget law? No, actually no. What do you Obviously, worry about? we will have no, no. We will have to be uh, very, very attentive because uh, the, the, the kind of objects, uh, objectives, uh, goals uh, the two parties uh, making the coalition have, uh, have written in the in their contract are clearly too much to be implementable. But uh, I expect them to move gradually uh, in that direction with moves that are consistent with our. European and Italian guardrails. What happens if it doesn't? Does it actually hurt? You know, is this the main risk? If you look at the next six months or the second half of the year, what's your biggest concern that you can't control? Uh, the bis biggest concern is probably a real political uh, disorder before the European uh, elections. Uh, uh, and that will be manageable, but will create some disorder on the markets in terms of expectations. But uh, as far as the budget law, I expect it to be reasonable.